PCB Way is one of the leading PCB manufacturers out there and it is the manufacturer I use for my products. Now, if you're either a hobbyist and or looking to create a final product, PCB Way is going to be a really great choice with their 24 hour and also assembly services. So go ahead and check the links down below. In today's video, we're taking a look at the all new HGLRC Parrot 1326S. Now you're like, ah, what the hell is a 6S on a 3 inch 4? And I was thinking the same exact thing until I flew it. Now, before we get too far into the specs and the details here, let me clear something up for you. You have the power, you have the speed, you have insane flight time, like at least eight minutes of flight time of not cruising, like punching out, going crazy and doing whatever the hell you want. You come down, you'll find the battery doesn't sag, you'll find it not even warm, neither are the motors warm on a 35 degree uh, weather day, Celsius to be exact, which is insane. I have not personally ever flown anything like that before. So that's out of the way. Let's talk about the good stuff and the bad stuff as well. So when you do purchase this, you obviously don't get the battery, but I highly recommend you get these batteries because these are the ones I've been using when I was flying, roughly eight to 10 minutes of flight time going ape shit crazy. And they also do provide you with this connector in the box with the Parrot, just in case you don't want to buy these batteries, which will allow you to put two, three S's and make them into a six S. Really nice, very useful for a lot of other things as well. So it's really nice that they've actually thought about this. Now, the thing that I really hate the most about this are the propellers. Now, they fly good, they have the power, but the problem is the durability is absolute crap towards the hub. Once the hub cracks, that's it. Your quad is just going to flutter and jitter and just you're going to have to replace the propeller. So keep an eye, even on light crashes, keep an eye on the hub because uh, it could be an absolute nightmare. You might look at the propeller, oh, it looks good. But if the hub is cracked, you're screwed. It's just gonna, it's just gonna start wobbling and, and doing all kinds of weird stuff. So don't over tighten these and just be careful with the hubs here. If it does start doing anything weird, just, your hub is basically cracked and that's all. Just replace the, uh, uh, replace the propeller. That is one of the weakest link of this whole quadcopter, other than the camera. The camera they're using a Cadex. I don't know which one, probably EOS. Um, I was still able to fly just fine, but I would have preferred another camera. But that's just me nitpicking now here. Now, for the bottom plate here, it's very rigid, very sturdy. They're using three millimeter uh, cut carbon fiber. It is a single body, so it is a unibody here. And I also did notice something when flying it quite a lot, is this screw would get loose and obviously the standoff uh, would get loose here. So try to use some Loctite on those uh, two screws right there. That'll make your life a little bit easier. And always double check your screws whenever you receive a quadcopter. Now let's talk about the motors. So for motors, they're using 1106 2400 kV. 1106 2400 KV running 6S, this efficient, this quiet, and this cool is crazy. It's, I, I don't know what else to say. This is like the perfect setup for long flights and powerful flights. So um, this is an absolute beauty of a setup in my opinion, but I do want to try other propellers very soon on this. Now, if we take a look at the stack execution here, it just looks to be done very properly here. Let's actually zoom in a little bit closer. You can see that the soldering is beautiful. The routing is gorgeous. Look at the, the Lois R capacitor is pretty interesting. Nothing is holding this up here other than its legs and the, the standoff here, so which won't allow it to pull back. And this is protected perfectly well by the TPU, which is pretty insane. I mean, and that just shows you how, how well it's been executed. They really thought about everything. Even if we look up here towards the antennas. So the antennas, uh, are not too long to where they become fragile and they're not too short where they reduce your overall range. Perfect amount in order for you not to keep cracking these plastic pieces here. And that's a really nice thing. And again, it's very thoughtful. For the VTX antenna, absolutely proper. There's there's other companies that still don't even get that right. For example, <clears throat> the Emacs Tiny Hawk. This is their latest. <laughs> They've done. Come on, Emacs, you can do better than that. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, this was very well thought through right here. And again, this thing is only going for 115 bucks, which is crazy. It is definitely, I would, I would pay 170 for this if I knew how it flew. And by the way, I do highly recommend this uh, without a doubt and without fear. I, I definitely recommend you go purchase this and you're going to get the amazing, beautiful flight time. Try to get at least one of these batteries. Try them out. And whenever you buy batteries, don't buy a bunch of them at once. Always buy one at a time. Check if it's good, see how long it lasts, then go and proceed with a bigger order. That, I've learned that the hard way. So yeah, these batteries are really good. These are the 6S. This is the one I've been flying on. And you can find them on HGLRC. They actually sent me this because I told them I had no 6S's for this. But if you wanted the best experience, you really have to 
put these two together. And even if you could just only afford one battery, the one battery is going to get you like two batteries of flight time, if not three, uh, which is really insane. I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, this is by far one of my favorite, favorite micros I've ever flown in terms of performance, uh, um, execution, also flight time, and just... It's, it was just a beauty to fly. I mean, it was a really, really amazing experience and a joy to fly. And, well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I have nothing else to say about this other than I would highly recommend it because, obviously, it's, it's just amazing. And um, if anybody's used it, let us know down in the comment section. I'll have everything linked down below, and I'll leave you guys the raw flight footage. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Work it, make it, do it, make sense. Harder, better, faster, stronger. I'm <laughs> not